So I woke up at um, 9.30 this morning. I didn't make it to wake up at 8 a.m. as I planned to. And I stayed in bed a bit longer than that after that. So yeah, it was a big lesson to learn that if you don't go to sleep early, you are not going to get up early the next day. You, you really struggle. So tonight, I really have to go to bed early. Last night, the run really helped me get tired and I feel sleepy and kept yawning at 11 p.m. But I stayed awake and watched TV afterwards, which was a mistake. So this afternoon, I'm going to do a run again and go to bed early. my book from Indigo. It was written by my favorite author Milan Kondora and the name is Life is Elsewhere. Um, I booked it because uh, firstly I always like his book. My favorite book is The Unbearable Being of Lightness. I was looking for other books to read and I found that I'm someone who always wants to go somewhere else. Even though I'm in the best city, uh, the most desirable city in the world, Vancouver, I always have the thoughts to go somewhere else. Maybe London, maybe go back to China, go to Shanghai. That's partly why I left Wuhan, China in the first place, my hometown. And left my hometown, my family and friends and came to Vancouver. I did it with no hesitation. I don't know where that thoughts come from, but when I um, think about going somewhere else, I sometimes ignore the good time I'm having right now here. And someone said that you are never here now ever before. So I need to learn to appreciate the present and appreciate where I am now. I will see if the book is going to discuss this topic or is it going to uh, bring more surprise to me? His books have so many philosophy that I just appreciate so much. So I'm going to read it after my round today. Hello, so I'm uh, in the park near the harbor in downtown Vancouver. I'm going to start my run of the day. The weather is very cloudy today and it's going to rain in the evening. And I saw the weather cast that it's going to rain for the whole week in the next week. So I better enjoy the cloudy weather for now. You might notice that my headphones have changed. I returned the both ones. They were nice, but um, I wasn't used to the headphones stuffed in my ears and it wasn't very good for everyday use, although it was great for workout. And I need a pair of headphones that are good for everyday use as well. So I got those AirPods. So far they're really good and the sound quality is actually great. I'm surprised for that. Yeah, so I'm going to do my round today.
today I did four kilometers, which is a big improvement compared to yesterday. Definitely more calories will burn out and I'm more out of breath. The road is very nice. It's solid, very good for running, and it's a very nice route. Although it wasn't as nice as the beach. I was a bit uh, disappointing that uh, the right side of the airport fell out twice. I felt so bad. I left two scratches on the new pair of uh, airpods. But in general, they're good. It was um, great fun. Now I feel great, full of energy and keep running just makes you believe that you can do anything. If you can do runs, you can do those challenges. Nothing in life should be too difficult for you. So I keep that courage in me. So that's it for today. Now it's 12 o'clock. I was ready to go to sleep at 11, but an accident happened that my AirPod fell in the sink into the sewage and was gone. I was so upset. It proves that my ears are the 1% that are not suitable for AirPods. I will have to call Apple tomorrow to get a replacement for one of the AirPods. Now I'm going to read my book before I go to sleep. I feel today was so short and there are so many things I still need to do. But it was short partly because I couldn't get up early enough and that was because I didn't go to bed the night before. So I'll have to leave them behind and go to sleep and get up tomorrow to start my day because energy is so important to have a great day and sleep is the source of the energy. So I'm going to sleep now. Good night. See you tomorrow.